Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering all the traders at max level unlocked, what you're going to see, what you can get. Uh, if you're not interested in any of that, if you don't want any spoilers, you want to find it out for yourself, then I suggest that's the end of this video for you. Otherwise, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. First up, uh, disclaimer, I don't actually have fence at max level yet because of uh, the Scav Karma system. I'm at 3.45, you, uh, you need it 6 get there which will probably take me another week or two however um, i'm working towards that as for the actual normal traders that you guys will normally see prepper um there's not a lot of changes with it with him prepper level one has now no longer got the cobra site uh, that's also that's been moved to jaeger sorry prepper level two uh and also it's now available on jaeger level one i don't know why but okay so they've moved it across to there uh another thing is there is the new Cretch site for uh prepper uh that being do, 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 do it must be on level two the game just updated it's this one here i'll put a little video going on right now so you guys can see it but this is a cratchit site um it's got negative 4.5 ergonomics i don't know who's going to use it because of that um but it is available at level two the other thing to take note of with prepper is he no longer sells 7n31 ammunition um so all that 9 by 19 ammo for uh for you know your mp5s and vel uh and vectors it's gone so uh 7n31's gone and ap 6.3 from peacekeeper which i'll touch on that when we get over to peacekeeper as for therapist not a lot of changes here therapist level one um now has the scav junk box um been moved over from level two and that's to help out with people the, the flea market unlocking at level 20 and uh they've made some changes to some of the actual early keys that you're going to need for questing for example you can now get the taco and director office key at level one therapist which originally it was level two uh this is the customs office key uh level two it used to be four gold chains it's still there but level one now you can get it for uh two green tea four crackers and two squash uh, another quest key for operation aquarius you can get seven meds you'll find those seven meds in uh the med supply crates around the map and that should be fairly reasonably easy to get uh if you're having any issues however um the the cool thing about the director's key right now is I've just released a video showing uh, where there's a heap of food spawns in Goshen that you can take advantage of. And you should be able to get all this easily, easily in one run. Um, there's a there's a food supply section of Goshen now where I can literally fill up like an attack backpack with like 35 different food items in one run without even like blinking an eye. It's that easy to do as long as you can get there early enough and probably that's going to be swarm now if that video is there. Um, the other item that's been added is the Dorm 303 key, which uh, is for seven T plugs and three blue tape. Um, the, the idea I would give you for this is go search filing cabinets and jackets while you're uh, leveling up. And as you're searching filing cabinets, you'll find the blue tape, you'll find the, the T plugs, and you might find your 303 Tycoon Director and the 206 key in the process. If not, you can grab these items as you're going along. That's it for therapists, jumping it across to skier. Now, there's not really a lot to explain from skier um skier level one there is the b11 handguard which i believe was just an update which really screwed with this recording hasn't it uh the b11 handguard which was is used for gunsmith part two um this was a barter trade from mechanic i can't remember how long ago it changed but it is available at level one skier now if you're having any any issues with that the mk47 is now available from uh skier level three which is the new uh 762 by 39 that is fully automatic now, um, if you want to get the longer barrel for this, you're going to need to go to mechanic level four, which will take you to level 40 to get. Um, and I'll play some videos now of them firing in the firing range uh, using the a fully modded one, uh, using the longer barrel or also the stock one. That way you get to check that out. Now that's it for scares. Okay, so moving along to Peacekeeper. So for Peacekeeper level three, there is now no more AP uh, 6.3 ammunition that you can buy. It goes back to that nine by 19 with the 7N31. There is a new MK4A uh, armor available. It's a class four armor. Personally, I don't see people using it too much, but uh, it is available there if you want to buy it. There is a quest um, that I still haven't done, which is Peacekeeping Mission. This unlocks the CQC Osprey MK4A plate armor. Um, this is a class five armor that you can purchase from Peacekeeper level four. And also, as far as I know, you are no longer able to buy uh, M995 ammunition from Peacekeeper 4. Next up, for Mechanic. Now, there's not a lot of things to uh, take note of for Mechanic, really. Uh, if you get Mechanic Level 4, you can now buy the Long Barrel for the 
uh, the new MK47. And the other one to take note of is there's no more AP uh, SX ammo for your MP7. So you won't be able to buy the AP SX ammo either. So that's kind of, I guess it's frustrating, but yeah, you can't purchase that yet. Also from Mechanic Level 3 is this new uh, thermal uh, reflex sight. You can actually put into like onto a gun with another sight. And then I've seen people actually putting it around corners to be able to see if there's someone coming along uh, as a little bit early warning thing. However, it's 110,000 rubles from Mechanic 3. Uh, it's very expensive for what it can do. It's actually quite hard to use and uh, it's up to you if you want to use it. Next up, we have Ragman at Ragman level one. There's nothing really new to take note of. Uh, for Ragman level two, there's this new boonie hat. Um, I'm, I haven't seen this one before this patch, um, but yeah, nice little camouflage hat if you're interested in it. Uh, there is also a new Mark II rig that you can take advantage of. It has 18 squares and it looks like this uh, and it weighs 1.4 kilograms. Uh, I am going to come back to Ragman level two, but there is also a new rig that is exactly the same as this um, available from Ragman level three, which is 350 grams heavier and it has the exact same amount of squares. So, and it's a little bit more expensive. So it depends on your layout that you want to have. Um, you can actually, and at 300 kilograms, sorry, 300 grams more up to you, which one of those new rigs you want to use. But I'd probably go to the lighter one. There's a new backpack called the Pillbox backpack. It's uh, it's actually quite small in the uh, the room it takes up. So you could put this inside a Burkut and get extra uh, squares or a scab backpack. And it, but it takes up the same, it uses the same, or sorry, it holds the same as a scab backpack. But if you put one inside a scab backpack, you'd have an extra row available. As for Ragman level three, there's the new Thor armor. This is a class four armor. I don't really think it's anything special. Probably wouldn't waste too much time uh, using it doesn't have a large durability and every time i've used it it got destroyed really quickly but it is there if you do find one you can use it in the in the meantime and there is also a new backpack being the draw bridge backpack not really the largest backpack but it's an option there if you want to use it as for ragman level four uh there's only really one thing to take note of for this one and that is this new juggernaut looking thor armor it covers all areas like left arm right arm thorax and and stomach it's big it's heavy and it reduces your movement speed um, a lot. So it's it's very similar to the uh, 6B43 with the, all the extra like penalties that it gives and the weight that it has. So it, I, I can't see people using this one a lot. It's up to you. And until they actually make it that armors, so eventually they're gonna make it that armors will only protect the space that it covers. So then this armor will actually take some sort of like importance. In the meantime, you're better off using a slick because it weighs half, the, like less than half, has less penalties, but uh, it, at, in the current state, it covers the entire thorax. So later on, it'll be a bit different. Now for Jaeger, there is a new site called the Target Ring Reflex site. This one is made for shotguns. Um, I'll show a little video of it on a shotgun now on MP153. And um, yeah, it's just a simple little sh reflex shotgun. It's fairly cheap. You don't have to do anything you just chuck it straight on the shotgun so you don't have to put any mounts on it which is handy so i think that's actually not a bad option if you want to just run a 153 or a uh, 133 but it doesn't fit on the new 155. jaeger level 2 you unlock the 155 purchase as a default stock shotgun it's very similar to the 153 and it works quite well however once you unlock jaeger level 4 you can actually have a lot of fun with this shotgun um you can get the ultimate thermal camera and then you can start putting it on there and having some fun. I'll play some videos of me using each of them um, while I'm talking, but for the short of it is uh, it looks like a monster gun and it, it's a lot of fun. So the thermal camera, um, I've got a video already out about that one and I'm gonna be using it a lot more over the next few days, but it's, a, it's a, just an interesting setup. You can actually use uh, a shotgun with a little thermal camera at the front that brings a image to the back and then you can uh, yeah play from there. So really, um, that's all covering all the new barter trades, purchases, and, and things you can buy from the traders from this patch. Um, not really a lot of new stuff, a few little tweaks here and there. The main focus I'm guessing of this patch, and obviously was the malfunctions and also the Scav Karma. I've been loving the Scav Karma and uh, I've got a lot of information I wanna share with you guys as I'm leveling that up. I've been learning a lot and uh, it's been a lot of fun. So guys, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, make sure you smash the share like button, the YouTube algorithm and comment. Uh, also, if you uh, want to check out my live stream, I'm doing a subathon. I film all my videos live on stream now. 
So uh, come over to my Twitch channel. I'll either be asleep or I'll be uh, streaming, playing Tarkov most likely or cooking dinner with my wife. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing that for the next up to about another 40 more days. So uh, jump over to the live stream. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. And lastly, I'll see you next time.